welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So after releasing my last video on the X-Range 2, I was thinking about what can we do with the data that's on the available ports. So port 3003 provides us with SBS style mode S messages in a plain ASCII. And I wondered if we could utilize this data and feed it into Kinetic's base station application. Now, as you may or may not know, BaseStation is a very popular application that lots of people have spent thousands and thousands of hours building their aircraft database. Now, there are third party utilities and applications. There's also user generated flags and logos, which is designed to be used with BaseStation. But when you open BaseStation, it does ask for a USB connection or a network connection to a specific kinetic SBS device. Now, unfortunately, the protocol that comes out of an actual SBS hardware and what base station expects and requires doesn't appear to be available in any other hardware or software like the popular Dump 1090 applications. So what about if you used to own an SBS product, but it broke or no longer have it, but still want to use base station as that's where your pride and joy aircraft database resides. Maybe you want to use an RTL SDR dongle to track aircraft and you're already doing so using a program like Dump 1090 or similar application. Now, as long as the software can output Mode S on port 3003, you can then use an application called Mode S Mixer. So let's take a look at this and how we configure it. So first off, we want to head over to this website and download Mode S Mixer. Please choose the version for your specific operating system. Now, once downloaded, uncompress the download and then navigate to the uncompressed folder. Here you'll see a file called Modest Mixer 2 underscore Windows and then your OS version dot BAT. Copy this and then paste it in the same folder and then just rename that pasted file to something familiar. We then want to right mouse click and then select edit. This will open up this file into Notepad. Now we need to edit the third line down. Now this will contain a demo line of code, but not all of its commands are needed for this example. So we need to leave one in connect command and one out server command. If you edit your file to look like mine, you should be okay. The only thing you will need to change will be the IP address on the in connect part of the command. Now I know that my X-Range 2 is on IP address 192.168.1.250. So I'll change this line to that IP address. Now if you're running RTL 1090 or Dump 1090, for example, on your local machine, then you can enter 127.0.0.1 into this IP address. After the colon, you will need to change this to the Modest message port, as mentioned before, and this is normally 3003. Now the out server section is showing that we're going to convert what comes in on port 3003 to SBS 1001 format and on port 1001 with the local IP address. So to make sure that you have the correct IP address and port for your Modest messages, you can use an application like Putty to telnet into that IP and port like this. You should then start to see messages shown on the screen assuming that your receiver is actually picking up aircraft. Now, if there are no messages, but it does actually connect, and it could be possible there are no aircraft in your area at that time. So maybe try later. Now, once you've confirmed you have data on port 3003, you can now go ahead and save the batch file that we just edited. Once saved, go ahead and double click on that batch file, and you should be presented with a similar screen to this. At this point, start base station, go to settings, then hardware, select the network tab, and then type in 127.0.0.1 for the address, and then port 1001 for the port. This is also assuming that you're running Modes Mixer on the same computer as base station. Now, if all goes well, you should now start seeing aircraft populate on base station. Job done. Well, there we go, guys. That's a quick video on how you can use base station application with pretty much any software that exports live Modest data from an application or, or even hardware, like I demonstrated here with the X Range 2 on the network. 
Now, this isn't going to appeal to everybody, but anybody who's used Base Station and wants to continue using it, then hopefully this has provided some useful information. Until the next video, guys, take care, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.